Have you ever found yourself wanting to scale a design in Illustrator, but when you do so, all of the strokes and effects are out of whack? So you're left expanding everything, losing the ability to edit them. So what if I were to tell you there was a super easy way that you can scale your strokes and effects with your designs? What's up designers, welcome back to Digifrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. When starting out in Illustrator, scaling strokes and effects is a common stumbling point amongst many. Being able to scale strokes and effects correctly isn't as hard as it sounds, and Illustrator has a super handy feature to help you out. So today, we're going to be taking a look at just that. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday, helping you become a better designer. Let's jump over to Illustrator and take a look at how to scale strokes and effects correctly. So now we've got Illustrator fired up, you can see I've got this text here that I've added a stroke to and say I've fallen in love with the way that it looks, but I want to resize it and make it smaller. Let's take a look at what happens. The appearance completely changes. At this point, I'd have to completely change my stroke options and try to get it back to where it should be. As I mentioned before, you can outline the stroke, but by doing so, you lose the ability to refine it any further. So what can we do to scale the object whilst maintaining the correct stroke weight even once resized? and there's a handy feature inside of Illustrator to help keep your objects uniform when you scale them. So let's undo that and get back to where we were originally. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to our window menu at the top and then from there I want to come down to transform. Once you've done that the transform panel opens up. It may already be in your toolbar but if you haven't that's how you get to it and you'll be shown this transform menu here. What we want to do is we want to come over to here and you see where it says scale strokes and effect. We want to make sure that that is checked. What that'll do is it allow us to scale our text whilst maintaining the proportions of our stroke. So let's take a look at what happens if I were to resize my text now. As you can see, the stroke is scaled proportionally to the text size. This can be really handy if you're working with the design across multiple size canvases whilst trying to keep the consistency throughout. Depending on how you actually like to use Illustrator, you can change this behavior in the preferences as well, which you can access through going up to Illustrator in the menu, over to preferences and then hit on general, or you can access it through using command or control K on the keyboard. Once you've done this, it'll bring up the preferences panel. And as you can see here towards the end, it's got scale strokes and effects. And what you can do is you can enable or disable that there, depending on what your requirements are. So that's how you scale strokes in Illustrator. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions about any of the things we've talked about today or anything about Illustrator in general, post them in the comments below. Thanks for watching designers. If you like this video, smash that subscribe button, give it a like, and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social. It really helps reach more people, educate them on building better brands and showing them what actually goes into designing them and shop the merch to support the channel and show you part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week, designers.